Hello everybody. How are you today? Hope you're doing great. I'm having a good day. So um, today we're going to do an experiment. I saw a video of someone trying a new cell, actor, cell activator recipe. So for those that um, are unable to get the Australian Floetrol that I usually use in my cell activator or can't afford it because it is pricey, but to me it's worth it because you use so little of it that um, it's going to last you a long time. But U.S. Floetrol is much cheaper. It's readily available at Home Depot. So uh, I thought I would show you the difference. So I just have um, a jar of paint here that has paint in it that I've scraped from my projects. So we're going to put that down. We're going to... Oh, we got a big goober on the side of the jar. Well, I'll take care of that. Whoa, whoa I almost dropped it. Oh, that would have been a mess. Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, there's a thumbtack. Amazing what's jumping out at me here. So I'm just going to spread this out to the edges. Okay. Good enough. Now we're going to put our colors on. So I'm starting with Amsterdam Diox Purple. I'm going to do a different color palette. Something totally different. Diox Purple. This little piggy or so now we're going for royalty here I guess yeah this is definitely going to be a jewel toned uh, tile this little piggy or I don't know why I'm setting these over here let's get them off of here uh, primary elements hot cinnamon I really have to get in the habit of stirring these before I get onto the camera. Well, this is going to look like those red hat ladies. We think. And um, this little piggy Aphrodite. This is a little thick. So, um, now the new cell activator, let's talk about that. So, if you go back to the beginning of my video, there's a recipe card there. The, U uh, the Aussie Floetrol recipe is in there. So, you can stop the video, you can screenshot that recipe card, and you can save it and use it. But, so that's the, um, the Australian Floetrol uh, recipe is there. There is one there that you can use as an experiment with the U.S. Floetrol. It works, but it doesn't work as well as the Australian Floetrol. But this one today that we're going to do is a totally different recipe. So I'll tell you what it is. It's... Two parts U.S. Floetrol, one part water, and one part paint. So I used my um, oxide black. So that is what the recipe that we're trying today is. That's going to be this first tile. Okay. So we've got our colors down. 
and I did mix it very well already and I don't know if you could see this but you want a thin stream and then it bounce 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 okay that's what a cell activator is supposed to look like that's what the Australian one looks like this looks exactly the same so I'm gonna put this down first I'm gonna get my we're gonna use the leaf blower today um, you put it down we should get a halo and yes I see the halo so what I do is I come straight down and kind of get my center then I put my little attachment on. I come over here and blow across. Okay. So as you can see, we're getting cells. There's no Australian floor trowel in this. They are popping. Okay, we're going to leave that there. We're going to let it do its thing. So you see, it does work. Now, I will say that these are not quite as defined and, mm, what do I want to say? I guess I want to say they're not as defined and big as the Australian Floetrol recipe, but they're nice. The recipe is certainly easy enough. I'm going to start spinning. Um, again, that was two parts U.S. Floetrol, one part water, and one part Amsterdam Oxide Black Paint. So that background that I use is, is a bit thicker than the usual pillow. So these take a little bit more spinning, actually a lot more spinning usually. Okay, this is looking good. So, and also your cells, um, they're not as defined as sharp they're they're kind of a little bit fuzzy I guess you might say but it's certainly beautiful so we're going to help this out over the edge here and a little bit more paint yeah the paint's getting there we're gonna spin again but the other direction it's getting there oh yeah now I'm gonna get over this way so I'm gonna drag it over that way So this just goes to show, if you can't get the Australian Floetrol, don't sweat it. It'll still work. This is actually very, very pretty. It will work. It just won't, uh, the cells won't be as sharp.
All right, so now I'm going to spin again, but I just wanted to touch up the edges where there's burst that bubble. Back the other way now. So as you can see, this paint is very thick, but it works. And you do want your pillow to be the thickest of the three. Always the thickest. Then your colors are a little thinner. And your cell activator is even thinner yet. So, I'm not going to take you down yet to show you until I do the other tile. I'll put them side by side and we'll show you uh, the comparison with an up close. Alright, this is good. So let me get my little cups to get this off of here. And my little tray. So I got these trays at the Dollar Tree. I put two little cups on there. Take my scooper, pick it up, put it on, and take it away. Oh, this is really sharp. Uh, this is a good cell recipe. All right, let's scrape this up into my my jar just to get rid of some of that excess. I actually think I'm going to put a little bit of water into this pillow paint to thin it out just a little bit. Because that really didn't want to move. And guess what I got yesterday? I went to Sherwin Williams and got something called Color to Go. It is supposed to be fabulous for a pillow paint. So this is the Color to Go. It is just a little one. Um, uh, what does it say? It's supposed to be a quart. Yeah, it's a quart. About a quart. And anyway. Um, they they mix these up for you and you can use them as your pillow for a colored background it was like if you join their paint perks thing you get 10 percent off so it was like eight dollars or something cents for that and you can get any color of the rainbow so i'm excited to try that and see how that works all the artists rave about it. So we'll have a painting of that coming up soon. No doubt, because I want to get trying it a little bit more. Okay. So here we go. Back to the same colors again. Same order. Now we're going to use the Australian Floetrol recipe that's on my recipe card at the beginning of this video. And you know, guys, always check out the description of my video. I mean, I tend to keep it as the same, but for anyone who hasn't looked at it yet, there's some helpful tips in there. So check it out. The ore. the hot cinnamon and the aphrodite is the Australian Floetrol recipe. And this I just made um, yesterday, actually. I made a new batch because it was time. 
Now we're getting more of a halo. So I'm coming straight down and kind of getting it to go out and about. Now I'm going to put the Now you may notice what happened here. Remember I thinned out this this gray paint? Look at how much more gray I have coming up through. So the I blew through to the pillow. And that didn't happen so much. Let me look. Didn't happen quite as much in the other. On the other tile. And to tell you the truth, the other tile is better than this one. I shouldn't have changed that pillow. You know what? Well, no, too late now. This was a bad blow to begin with. We're going to scrape this. Sorry, guys. We're going to do it over again. Because this is not a true representation of what... Of a good experiment. So let's scrape this off. Not a biggie, because we we can use this paint over. As a matter of fact, we're going to use it over right now. Now, I will tell you one thing. You can paint over this tile right away now, again. Okay, but once a tile dries that you paint it on, don't paint over it because the first coat will just lift right up. This is a ceramic bathroom tile. Okay, you can paint over a dried canvas. You just cannot paint over a dried tile or that paint will lift right up. You'll have all kinds of little uh, humps and bumps in your painting. I did it the other day. People, I saw people had said, eh, don't do that. And I thought, well, it works on a canvas. Why wouldn't it work on a tile? So I tried it. I got a beautiful bloom and it all lifted. So they were right. <laughs> they were right. I'll show you what I did with that tile though. I didn't waste it. I'll show you in just a second. Hopefully I don't forget. Okay. Four. The hot cinnamon. The Aphrodite. Okay. The black cell activator. All right. Now let me try to blow it up exactly the same. So activator over cell activator.
All right, that's a little bit better of a blow. Still got through to the pillow, so that was too thin, but it's okay. Yeah, this is going to be a better comparison. Let's let that do its thing while I close up my paints. If I can find the lids. So I'm not opposed at all to this new cell activator recipe in that other tile that we just did. It did a nice, admirable job. Did its what it's supposed to do. Okay, let's get this spinning. Okay, let's get it coming this way. Let's get it coming this way. Get that corner. Let's go the other direction now. Alrighty, ready, Aphrodite. Okay. Had a lot, definitely added too much water to that pillow. It got too thin and was not a good blow. But let's, um, we'll get this off of here. Oh, wait, I wanted to see which way. I need to get some on this corner. So let's do that. And then we'll be done spinning. Then we can compare. Either way, we're just comparing cells in this video. That's what we're trying to compare. So even though I blew up some pillow because I'm not really taking my time here. And I used the blower and I haven't used that blower in quite a while. So anything that you don't do regularly you kind of got to get the hang of again. But I will show you. Whoa. All right. Let me get this. Let me get these cups over closer so we can compare. All right. So this one was the U.S. Floatrol. Very pretty cells. Not lacking in anything except that they're not as sharp as I usually do, but they're pretty cells. This one over here is the Australian Floatrol. I suppose you could see, okay, see up in the gray up there, the black cells, how sharp they are? 
Now I'm going to bring you over to the purple here. See those cells in that purple? In this corner up here. Let me hold this. This corner up here. They're not as sharp as these cells over here. So the Australian gets you sharper cells, more defined cells, but the U.S. over here definitely gets you <laughs> just as many cells. So personal preference, I guess, but both work great. I'm going to, I'm going to keep this cell activator that I made here and use it because it certainly did a fine job. It's not like I want to throw it out. And, um, so there you have it. That's the comparison. So again, I will, um, let you know what that, uh, recipe was. Two parts U.S. Floetrol, one part water, one part, in this case I used Oxide Black Amsterdam Paint. Um, Amsterdam paints are always good to use for a cell activator. They seem to work better than any other. So um, I use Amsterdam's for my cell activators for the most part. There are some other ones that work good. And I will put those a list of those colored cell activators that work well. Um, I'm sorry, colored paint that works well as a cell activator. So we're going to let you go, everybody. Hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. All right, take care. Bye-bye.